are you aware of uh, there's a guy who's done a lot of research on that wall in Montana? Do you know that wall in Montana? Mm -mm. So there's a there's an ancient wall in Montana that some people have tried to say is a natural rock formation and almost anybody looks at it and goes you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> That's 100% placed and stacked stones. But the problem is this this ancient wall, look at that. I mean, shut the fuck up. How is that? Oh, yeah. Shut just shut the fuck up. Can I see the other the original picture, Jamie? That one where yeah. I mean, shut the fuck up. Someone stacked that for sure. It's in a, a straight line. They're stacked on top of each other. They form fit together. They're they're placed, you know, at the same height. Well, they're carved and transported. Yeah, something was going on, right? So some ancient ancient civilization had this, and I think it's several football fields long. I think it's really long. Like I think what they. What they've discovered versus uh, how much more of it could be, because also a lot of it is covered in dirt. And if it, this thing is, you know, twenty five, thirty thousand years old, who knows how long it is? How long it's been there? Like, who knows how deep it even goes? The Sage Wall. That's what it is. Wow. So, what is that all about? Like, that was on private land, and apparently, originally, it was covered in trees and. And they cleared the area. Sure. And and so initially people were thinking that it was some sort of a natural formation. But then as they cleared the area, they're like, wait a minute. Yeah. What is this? So no explanation, no civilization tied to that area, especially one that's capable of moving monolithic stones. But that, 1996, they found it. Yeah. While hiking around the property one day, we discovered the sage wall. The wall is 275 feet long and 24 feet high a jaw-dropping marvel. In order to make these boulder areas more accessible and highlight their beauty, we created a moderate two-mile trail, uh, two trail system. Additional features of the trail include 400-year-old Douglas fir trees, the spectacular views of the Ruby Valley 20 miles away, and the Highland Mountain Range sitting at 10,000 feet in elevation. So this is it. This is like high elevation, covered in trees, on a piece of private land that these people just hadn't noticed that they had this thing on there. You know, it's probably some massive ranch right. in Montana. And then, like, okay, what's what's this? No explanations. Right. No one knows what it is. And I love how people try to write things like that off. Oh, that's just a natural formation. You it is. Right. You, you know it's not. I know you don't have an explanation, and this throws your whole understanding of human civilization in North America into the garbage pen. It really does throw it in the garbage bin uh -huh. because, like, what do you, what what happened? Right. What was going on there? Was this Vikings? Who fucking did this? Who did it and when? Well, I think a lot of people make the mistake of thinking of Native Americans as, like, one group. Right. Like, people, I'm sure different groups came over many times and probably a lot longer than 20,000 years ago. They're before 20,000 years ago. Well, we're not exactly sure when people started traveling across the oceans. No. Like, when did oh. the Polynesians make it to Hawaii? I don't know. We really don't know. No. It's just guessing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of guessing. What What is the, do they have any sort of uh, carbon dating on any of the material that's related to that stone wall where they have a, some sort of a rough estimation of its construction time? 